Hey everyone, so today we are at Bucky's here in Madisonville, Texas. We needed to run in and grab some things on our way. I think we're going to head to Huntsville State Park, and uh, which will be our fifth or sixth state park of the year. So uh, we're going to run in here and give a little tour. Uh, we'll show you all of the gas pumps right now and then uh, film a little bit inside. All right, so just driving around to show how many gas pumps there are. We should count them all. I think they're probably numbered, so I think that. So that one's number 50 right there. And so this is the back. That one says 33, and then the whole front has gas pumps as well. So we haven't even made it inside yet, but there is a, uh, I've got a variety of chairs and stuff that's all Bucky's branded. And then you've got some, you know, stadium seats here to take to the high school game. But if you really want to up up your game when you're hanging out in the stands, you can get one of these. These padded stadium seats. Check that guy out. Super soft, cushy. Nice little cup holder on the side, high back support. That would be amazing at the football game. So one of the tried and true snacks, of course, are beaver nuggets. And you can't come here and not get beaver nuggets. They're like uh, corn pops that have uh, some like caramel coating on them. But Angela found this. This is, this is new, bold and spicy, sort of spicy. Bucky's Nuggets. We may have to get those and try those. But they've got all kinds of flavors. Sea salt and caramel, white cheddar, cinnamon sweet. You can get all sorts of things here. Bucky's really is an experience here. You've got chopped meats and barbecue. They're chopping up that brisket over there. They've got like the fudge shop and candy nuts. You can order Mexican food. There's a jerky bar over there. There's sodas. And then if we spin around, there's all of this clothing and Bucky's branded stuff. What was that you were looking at? Look at these shorts. Oh, it's like a sun shirt. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. And it says Bucky's on the side. Yeah, really oh, that is really cute. That's neat. And <laughs> most of the stuff has Bucky's branding on it, all over it. This store is a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Then you have home decor over here that's all Texas themed. There's Bucky. Hey, hey! This here is the jerky counter. And they've got all kinds of different types. And that goes all the way down. This is the soda station with all kinds of different sodas. And there's a coffee bar over there. And this is the candy wall here. The milk chocolate almonds are always a hit. Raisins, all kinds of candy, taffy. Ooh, we should get taffy, Ange. Look at Ange against that taffy wall. What kind of taffy are we gonna get? I don't know, the kind we had when John was here was good. Yeah. Yeah, that one looks good. That one's cotton candy, butter, popcorn, bubble gum, red licorice. Or this one's just assorted. Maybe assorted. Yeah, let's just do assorted. Oh, that's a lot of banana. Let's just do assorted for now. All right. Coffee bar is over there. 
all the creamers that you could ever want, syrups, everything you need for tea and coffee right in here. It's, uh, it's always busy on the weekends, but uh, got back to the car in one piece. We ended up, we got some snacks and stuff. I ended up getting a sliced brisket sandwich and I'm gonna show that to you and see if I can do it one-handed. It's 849, but look how big that is. All that meat With all that meat, I'm gonna take a bite and tell you about it while Angela's showing you what she got and then I can describe it afterwards, but that way uh, I'll have an intermission. So, uh, all right, Ange, while I'm taking a bite of this. The sausage on a stick covered with a tortilla. Usually I don't eat the tortilla though, but I prefer just the sausage. Mm. That sandwich is really good. That's probably the best barbecue that you can have at a gas station here in Texas. That was delicious. Big pieces of uh, brisket. I'm not gonna eat the bun, there's no way. But Ange, what else did you get? Oh, we ended up getting these. Yeah. Yeah, that we talked about. Bold and sort of spicy nuggies. Okay, and what else? You got the taffy? We got the taffy. We got the assorted one. Cool. So that's it from us here at Bucky's. We're headed down to Huntsville State Park. And, oh, oh wait, I forgot something. What else did you get? More the beaver chips. Beaver chips. Let's take a look inside there and see. Yeah. yeah, they're like warm potato chips, homemade here at Bucky's. They're good. You have to put a little salt on them for a little bit of flavoring, but otherwise they're they're or pretty decent. Cholula. <laughs> or Cholula. That'll be interesting. So, uh, like I said, we're headed down to Huntsville State Park, and uh, we'll see you there. We made it here to Huntsville State Park. And we are right here at the trailhead for Prairie Branch Loop. We're parked right in here. We're going to head up the loop and then come back down uh, along the lake, Lake Raven there. So I know I said that this was state park number five, and that's technically true. This is our fifth unique state park that we visited in 2024 but it is not our fifth visit to a state park in 2024. This is actually number six. You see, if you've been following along, when my brother John came out, we went to Brazos Bend State Park to go see the gators. That was the second time this year that we've been to Brazos Bend. And so technically that was visit number five and this is visit number six, even though this is the fifth unique visit to a state park this year. So we're going to say this is our sixth visit to a state park um, in 2024. It's only April. And our goal is to hit, if we can hit 10 by the end of the year, we know that during the summer it gets a little hot. And so it's a little bit uncomfortable getting out. We'll see what happens. But uh, if we can get to 10, we, we'd be thrilled. If we could hit 15, we'd be ecstatic. So that's kind of our goal for 2024, along with some of the other travel stuff that we have going on. But uh, this trail is pretty nice. Um, it's a, a little bit swampy. The ground is a little sandy, um, but overall it's, it's still pretty. Here, I'll flip you around. There's Ange walking ahead. And you can see up in front of her, see how the, the trail turns colors from dark to, to light. That's sand. And I think there's sand underneath there. Nope. This is just in this patch. And so this is real silty. So it's a little challenging to walk through because you kind of sink in it a little bit. But it's got these piney woods all around, which is kind of nice. And then coming back, we should be walking along the lake. So that's what we're up to for now.
this is where our loop continues and then circles back around where the lake is. But if you follow this one, this one goes north across this little marsh here and goes up around the west side of the lake and loops around. But we're not following that. We're gonna go this way down here and then start circling back now. It's really pretty though. So we think we made a wrong turn. I think we got distracted by a chihuahua and uh, he was a cute dog and, uh, and he was distracting us from where the turnoff was. <laughs> and so we ended up on the other side of the lake, realized it about a half hour in and had to turn back around and come back up. But we are just now getting into that lake view where we're now walking alongside the lake. So let me flip you around. So there's Ange and we're starting to come out of the trees and it's turning from this swampy area with lily pads and grasses and marsh and stuff and turning into this lake area. And this is our hike alongside the lake. It's really nice walking through this portion. What do you think, Ange? Yeah, this, this part's been a nice walk because it's like, I think if you would have just went on this loop, it would have been like 1.7 miles, huh? Yeah, but we ended up, I think we're gonna have like three and a half three, or something yeah. because of our, uh, our distraction from the Chihuahua dog, <laughs> that little cute thing, so. But there's so. been a nice breeze some of the way, and even right now, more of a breeze. Yeah, so yeah. That feels good. It's been nice. So. Pretty view. Yep. Well, we're all done with our hike. We uh, got back to the car and uh, we walked over here to the park store. And I think we're going to look for uh, a candy or an ice cream or something for Ange. No, and not. get her something sweet. No. And a drink. Uh, a drink. <laughs> and, uh, and, and show off this area over here by the beach. Ange, what'd you get? We got a Gatorade because the ice creams actually were in, um, what were they, quarts or something? Or pints? Pints, <laughs> yeah. And they had ice cream sandwiches. It didn't sound good to you? No. Okay. Well, this is, this is the lake. They do rent kayaks and paddle boats and stuff, but there, there are gators in that water. And there are signs that up that say, don't uh, tease the gators. So, um, we're, we're not big fans of going out on the water with the gators. <laughs> so this is normally the area where the people swim. Normally this part of it is uh, sandy right here. And people can swim out and go climb up on that, um, that dock and kind of jump in the water and stuff, but it's all closed down right now. Not sure why, not sure what they're, what they're trying to do here, but they've let, kind of let it grow. Maybe the, maybe the water level's low, um, not sure. Well, that's it from us here at Huntsville State Park. Thanks for coming with us. Don't forget, visit us at www.davisduotravel.com or Facebook, Instagram, at Davis Duo Travel. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye. All right, see you soon. Bye.